When we look at the moon, we really just see a skin depth. It's just that upper, upper surface. The L-Cross mission uh, was a NASA mission designed to slam into the poles of the moon. The, the Centaur rocket produced a crater about 70 to 100 feet across and it tossed material from below the surface up as high as a half mile. And when it got up to over a half mile, the material began to get illuminated by the sun, heated up, and that allowed us to see those gases. In fact, we saw water. It lit up very easily, but we also saw things like OH, odd compounds like NH, NH2, even a bit of silver, which isn't really expected. We conducted a number of uh, impact experiments out at the NASA Ames vertical gun range uh, in order to prepare for the mission and sort of understand what the different possible eventualities uh, were going to be. Uh, this was not your ordinary impact. We're not dealing with a, a, a small meteorite coming into a body. We're, we're dealing with a very sort of strange impactor in, in that it's the uh, emptied upper stage of the rocket. So in order to understand what we were going to see and, and maybe what effects that would have on the results, we had to do all these uh, different experiments. The moon is constantly subjected to impacts um, from asteroids, comets. Those flashes contain volatiles, gases, water, compounds of hydrogen, and they eventually will get trapped in the soil and then migrate back to the pole just by the heat of the sun. We want to see what's been trapped there, archived, in this really frozen spot of the moon.